Welcome back to AM Northwest. Nick Vial truly has made Bachelor history by being the only contestant to appear on four of its shows. But has Nick really learned any lessons from his experiences, or is he doomed to repeat past mistakes? Here with her insights, we welcome back psychologist Dr. Goldie Sadie. Good to see you again. Great to be back. Thank you. So let's let's start at the top. What do you uh -huh. think he's learned? Well, let's talk about what we can learn from him. And yeah. one of the things you say is date the exact opposite of your type. Exactly. So we see this all the time in The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. They often have a type that they're mm -hmm. drawn to, and lo and behold, they haven't found love yet. So a lot of times it can be finding the absolute opposite. So with Nick, we're seeing that he likes the women that challenge him, that are a little bit more edgy. That's how Andy was. That's mm -hmm. how Caitlin was. And right now, I mean, I don't know who he's going to pick, but with Vanessa, we're seeing a little bit of that as well. Yeah. Um, and so, and again, it doesn't mean that you have to go in the complete opposite direction of what you're interested in, but really giving somebody else a shot that comes from a different background, from a different walk of life, right. and seeing what could that connection potentially be like. Right. Well, if it's not working, you got to change things. Exactly. You have right. to change your formula. Ab so, how is Vanessa opposite of Nick? Well, you know, I think that they are very similar, and that's what they say is that they clash a lot. But a lot of times, I think that's where that banter almost gets to be a little bit too much for them. So, you know, they're both very stubborn. They're very strong-willed um, and a lot of conflict may come up as a result okay so date the opposite of what you normally date is what you're exactly. saying um, values do matter they really do matter and that was one of the big conversations that came up in the hometown dates and so he said to her you're very traditional and I'm not traditional so you need to kind of get a sense of what does that really mean so yeah. in terms of values it could be religion it could be family it could be education how you raise your children but these are the questions that you really how can't... you spend money exactly yeah. you can't put them on the back burner you really have to make sure that you're addressing them appropriately. And so having conversations around those, even when there is a mismatch, but for the most part, if you can be on the same page, you will be saving yourself a lot of headache, a lot of conflict later on. Well, didn't Vanessa say she she is going to spend Sundays with her parents? Oh. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So she how said, do you resolve that problem? Exactly. And, and that's something that we're going to have to see what they end up doing with that. Because she was saying, you know, are you going to move to Canada? What's going to happen? She right. wasn't really willing to compromise, it sounded like. And Sunday dinner was Sunday dinner. And... Um, um, so I think it's important to talk about those pieces. Well, I think you have to compromise, otherwise you have it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not. Um, discuss and learn about uh, family. Exactly. So and that, learn from family. Exactly. So it leads right in. So that's where I think I'll say that um, hometown dates are my favorites because it's fascinating to see the dynamics, right? right? There's the parents who are so excited, the parents who say, stay away from my daughter or son. Um, and you can see, you know, what is the relationship between parent and child like, but also what are the boundaries like? So with Vanessa saying, you know, I have to be there for Sunday dinner, might, you know, say that the family is going to be very involved in their marriage and their relationship later on. And you do need to be able to establish yourself as a couple separately so it's being interdependent and not dependent on the family either so being aware of that is very important okay um, matching baggage helps yeah so that's something that I always think is funny when we're watching the show with my husband we notice that Nick is always talking about wait his a past second your husband watches with you he does, he does watch with does me. he really he does and okay. he even gets excited about it Wow okay <laughs> hard to find um, so a lot of times though you know he'll say oh in my past relationship this happened and the other girlfriend and I mean I don't even know how many women he's talking about right. just from the show we know several of the women that he's been with sure and meanwhile you know Raven says I've had one boyfriend you know ever. that's right she's only yeah she's very inexperienced she's very inexperienced yeah. and so again and it's not that it's you know it can't ever happen but right. I think it can really help to be matched and to be on the same level right so. because he she may I'm, I'm thinking if she ends up with him mm -hmm. she may resent the fact that she's only had one boyfriend besides Nick exactly yeah. and he's bringing in all of this wisdom that he's mm -hmm. also gained from his past relationships and she's coming in really innocent and naive and again it's there's nothing bad about being that way but maybe find a partner who is also at that same space as you yeah that's that's pretty important actions speak louder than words and that's a big one I would think it is and we see it a lot on the bachelor because they're always in front of the camera they're saying you know this is love you know I'm gonna do this I'm going to do that and talk is cheap we know that it's really the actions that are gonna tell us who is this person really mm -hmm. and we've seen that with Nick and sometimes he's had his better moments Moments, right you know he had a date with Vanessa where she became very ill and he was very loving and attentive towards her and that spoke volumes about oh, his character. Oh completely yeah. yes. I think she was mortified on that date
Sunday. It was not the best one at all. But then at the same time, we've seen him and his indiscretions with some of the women. Right. And those actions have not been particularly positive. But point being that he can say whatever he wants to say. And, you know, it's not just taking a person at face value, but really watching them and observing and saying, you know, how do they treat me? Right. Is that consistent with the message that they're giving? Because it's easy to praise somebody and tell them how much you love them, but then turn around and do something that's really not loving that's consistent with that. Right. When he first started the show, we all wondered, like, how how mm -hmm. is this going to work? Because he's had such a bad boy reputation. Exactly. Can he really change? Or do you see in the show yeah. that he's changed from the previous appearances? Well, I hope so. And again, I think who he chooses will tell us a lot as well. You know, who, who, let's let me ask you this. Yeah. Who do you want him to choose? That's a great question. I originally wanted the new Bachelorette, Rachel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well, that's, so that's, that's out of the question. So that's not yeah, going to happen. Yeah. Um, I think Vanessa, yeah. even though there is a little bit of that conflict, I think there is that stronger connection that we haven't quite seen with Raven, even though she seems like a really sweet girl. Right. And, you, and more, they're more age-wise, aren't they? I think so, exactly. Yeah. I think the age is a really big piece because he's had a lot of young women on the right. show. Just how they're going to figure out that family thing. Yeah, that's going to be the big piece. Okay. Yeah. And what do you yeah. think of Rachel as the new Bachelorette? I think she's going to be fantastic. I think she's definitely going to bring up the caliber of the show overall. People have been saying they've been waiting for that person who's really dazzling and exciting, has a great educational background, is really great interpersonally. And I think Rachel's going to bring all that and more to the table. And I think that, you know, hopefully the guys that she has are going to be on par with her as right. well. All right. Well, Goalie, thank you very yeah. much. Appreciate it.